Before you can use your new iBobber, you have to sync it to your smartphone or other smart device. This is done in just a few simple steps, but varies by the type of phone or device you have. We'll use an iPhone 6, which uses the required Bluetooth version 4.0 or higher. Please note that the iBobber app is only compatible with iOS and Android systems using this version of Bluetooth or higher. First, make sure your Bluetooth is on. You should already have the iBobber app downloaded to your phone and your fully charged iBobber like this one here. If you don't have the app yet, you can find it in the iPhone App Store. After your iBobber is done charging, remove it from the charger base. It will flash green as it turns on and will stay on for about 10 minutes this way. You can also place it into water and it will stay on indefinitely, typically between 10 to 20 hours depending on use. In either case, that flash means the iBobber is ready to be synced. To ensure the longest connectivity time, I'll use this bowl of water here. From the iBobber home screen, tap the settings, then Bluetooth Sync to begin syncing the iBobber with the iPhone. You may need to search for it by clicking the Search for iBobber. Once the iPhone recognizes the iBobber, tap the circle next to the device name. The nickname of the device you chose during registration will now show up here in the device list. When the connection is made, the sonar icon here will turn orange and the iBobber will flash green again. If you don't see that green flash but want to check the connection, simply tap the LED beacon on the Fish Finder screen. It should light up. You're now ready to use your new iBobber. Simply tap either the fish finding icon or the waterbed mapping icon, depending on which one you want to use. Now go out there and have fun with your new iBobber. Tight lines.